Good morning, guys. We're going to try something a little different. It's going to be kind of like Mr. I's class last year, where I'm going to do the video of the notes, and then you're going to watch it and ask me questions during the class. Okay, so let's start off by filling out the beginning part. So we have our, the name. Of course, yours is not going to be Mrs. Wilson, but I'm going to follow through the steps that you should. Today's date is 8-25-2020. Our topic today, this is 1.2. This is integer operations. Integer operations. Remember that you can start and stop this video as you need, as well as ask questions. And you're going to be either class 7A or B. Make sure that you label it which one and include your class number. Okay. All right, so for adding integers, to add means to move to the right on the number line. So for the visual example, we have negative three plus eight. So going from negative three, I'm adding eight. So I'm gonna actually go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and see where I land. And I'm landing on five, positive five, so therefore my answer is five. <clears throat> One of the ways that I type, like to think about integer operations, okay, is when you're doing battle or teamwork. So another way to look at this other than on the number line, okay, is I look at the signs. If I am doing battle, okay, that means that it is different signs. Well, sadly, in battle, not everybody survives. So you have casualties. So when we have battle, some people get killed off. So that means that we're going to actually subtract. So when we have battle, because it's different signs, you actually subtract your numbers. And then who wins the battle? Whoever is the bigger absolute value wins the battle. So whoever is bigger wins. So in this scenario, we've got a negative three and a positive eight. Who's winning? The eight. So therefore I know that my answer is going to be positive. My answer is positive, but I'm going to subtract because there are different signs. So we have a positive answer, but actually subtract to get it because I'm going to do eight minus three type uh, right today. So excuse me, eight minus three, which is going to give me five because they are different and different signs, positive answer, but actually subtract because different signs. <clears throat> now that talked about battle. Real quick, we're going to talk about teamwork. You'll hear me ask you, is the problem doing battle or teamwork to help you thinking through things? Teamwork means they have the same sign. So if they have the same sign, that means that you are going to add. Okay? Add and keep sign of both. All right, so let's, when we're looking at these examples, well, these are both positive, so therefore my answer I know is going to be positive, and it also tells me that I'm adding because they're the same sign. So this is teamwork, and my answer is going to be nine. You do not have to write the plus. I did that so that you could know that it's going to be a positive answer. All right, for this next one, Okay, this is their different signs because we have a negative and a positive. So therefore they're doing battle. Okay, who's winning here? The positives. So I'm going to be actually thinking about calculating it as six minus two, which gives me a positive four as my answer because this one is doing battle with the positives winning. And remember, you don't have to write this plus. Next, looking here again. Oh, this one was teamwork, and the positives won here. 
for here, we have a negative and a positive, but in this scenario, the negatives are winning because 21 is bigger than three. So therefore this is doing battle, but the negatives are winning. So I'm technically going to be doing 21 minus three, which gives me, <clears throat> excuse me, 21 minus three. Ms. Wilson's kind of drawing a blank here. That's gonna be 18, but this is a negative 18 because the negatives are winning. All right, moving on to subtraction, okay? And these rules right here apply to both. You can think about it in both scenarios, okay? If you're thinking about subtraction on a number line, okay, we're gonna come back and do these. By the way, this is gonna be working for your homework, okay? So to subtract means to move left on the number line. So if I'm looking at this problem, I start at negative one and then I'm subtracting three. So that means I'm moving to the left three, one, two, three. So on the number line, I'm actually landing on negative four. Now, when I look at this, I'm gonna pay attention to if I'm using the rules, what are my signs? Well, I've got a negative one and this right here, the sign goes with it. So this is gonna be a negative three. So for this, we're gonna have, okay, same sign. That means it's doing teamwork. We'll put a little TW here so we know that that means te teamwork. Teamwork, both of them are negative, so therefore the answer is going to be a negative. And I'm adding, so I'm really doing one plus three, which gives me four, but they're both negatives, so I have a negative four. All right, here we go, let's work some more examples. Okay, so we have nine minus four. Well, that's just normal. That's gonna be five, okay? But if I wanna think of it as my, um, with my rules over here, I'm gonna think of this as being nine and negative four. So that means a positive nine and negative four. That means it's doing battle and the positives win. Looking at this one here, okay? We've got four and negative six. So this is doing battle. Should have just done that in the blue. I'm gonna erase that and do this in the blue versus the pink. It's kind of conflicting with that other circle. Here we go, so we're doing battle. Now who's winning here? The six is bigger than the four when you take the absolute value of them. So the negatives are winning. So my answer here, I'm gonna actually be doing six minus two, six minus four. My brain is working faster than my, I can write and speak. Six minus four is two. The negatives win, so this is a negative two. Remember, you can stop and repeat the video as much as you need to if you're struggling with anything. And make sure you're asking questions while uh, watching it during class. Next, here we go. So I'm gonna look at this and I'm gonna think about, okay, that's a negative 28, that's a negative eight. They're both negatives, so that means this is teamwork. And I'm gonna actually add them my answer is gonna be a negative answer because they're both negative numbers. So I can write that down first before I do anything else. And now I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to actually do 28 plus eight if I don't mentally know that already. So I'm gonna have eight plus eight, that's gonna be 16 carried my one, so 36. So we end up with a negative 36 as our answer. Okay there to care of subtracting integers. Here's where we've got our special scenarios. We wanna watch out for the double signs, okay? So rewrite plus a negative as subtract. That is one way to think about this. Absolutely, yes, you can do that, okay? A double, rewrite the double negative as addition. and I can't spell addition today for some reason. So I always think a double negative becomes a plus. So when I'm looking at these problems, again, I'm gonna use my rules of battle or teamwork. So I've got a positive and I have a negative. This can be rewritten to look like two minus six. I kind of like it leaving it looking like this. It makes it easier for me to see what's a positive and what's a negative. So you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Okay, you can leave it as this and then follow your integer rules. So this is battle and the negatives win because the six is bigger than the two, which means I'm actually going to be doing six minus two, 
with the negatives winning, which gives me a negative four. For 15, I look at my signs. They're both negative, so that means it's teamwork. Who's winning here? The negatives. Teamwork, remember, when we do things together as a team, we add, so we're adding these, and we end up with a negative 25. So I'm actually doing 20 plus 5 to get to the negative 25. 9 minus negative 2. This is where I go through and I actually take a pencil that's a smiley face when I look at it. I think about it as two eyes and a nose, okay, or a face that you see. I change that into a big plus. So now it becomes 9 plus 2, which is 11. I guess it's better if I write that as the 9 plus 2 underneath it versus over it. But I like to make the big plus over the sign. Okay, so for this right here, for 23, now we're jumping down to 23. We have negative minus negative 23. Again, that's double negative right here, so this is going to become negative 2 plus 23, which now I look at my battle. Am I doing battle or teamwork? I have a negative and a positive, so therefore I'm doing battle. Who's winning? The positives. So that means I'm actually going to be doing 23 minus 2, which gives me 21 as my answer. Remember, if you've got questions, type them in the chat so that I can answer them. And also, the rest of the problems on here are your assignment. Finish those problems. Pay attention to how I showed my work and labeled. I would like you to do the same thing. And take your time. If you've got questions, ask. When you finish with this, check it in the um against the answer key with the completed notes. And then you can work on your videos for tomorrow as well as the IXL Math Diagnostic. Thank you. See y'all tomorrow.